Gym leaders are among the most prominent and well-known Pokémon characters, and that's for good reason. They essentially act as the bosses of the Pokémon world and make for interesting and sometimes tough challenges. Sometimes they can be super nice and chill, and other times they can seem like they're the incarnation of Hell itself. They truly are a diverse and unique group of people. I'm sure that at one point or another, we've all thought about what it would be like to be a gym leader. From making a single-type team, to designing interesting and sometimes not very child-friendly gyms for challengers to take on, being a gym leader is something that I really wish that Game Freak would implement into future games. Well today, I want to talk about what type of gym leader I would be, as well as the design of my gym and what Pokémon I would use. It's doubtful that we'll ever get a fleshed out gym leader feature in the mainline game soon, so I just wanted to share my ideas and vision for if I was ever a gym leader. First off, I would be a water type gym leader. Not because I'm particularly fond of water type Pokemon, they're like my fifth favorite type, but because I think that water type gyms have loads of untapped potential for gym designs. I hope I don't come off as too much of a hater when I say this, but past water gyms have been sort of lame in my opinion. Misty had a swimming pool, Wallace and Juan had a room with a waterfall in it which had ice you fell through, and Crasher Wake had a giant room with wooden rafts and a water level puzzle. Marlin gets a pass on his gym because A, his gym was actually pretty cool with the lily pad puzzle, and B, we both have the same type of tan on our bodies. With Generation 6 finally going to 3D graphics, it's been sort of a positive and negative for me. I'm not a big fan of the overworld's look and aesthetic, but I absolutely love the new and creative gym designs that they can do with three dimensions. Things like climbing Grant's Rock Gym or scaling up Ramos' Garden Tower are experiences that you just couldn't get with 2D sprites. Because the games can now have that added depth and verticality to them, I'd want to have a water park as my water type gym. You might not be able to tell by the sound of my voice, but water parks are one of my favorite things out there. If I wasn't making videos on Pokemon or Nintendo stuff, I'd love to do a channel just on water park slides. I've always enjoyed gyms that serve a secondary purpose or function. Things like how Elisa's gym was a fashion runway, or how the Striaton City gym doubled as a restaurant. A water park gym can fit right along with these types of gyms. I much prefer these types of gyms as opposed to ones that just seem to have a random elemental theme to them, and are rather boring in design. I've got to apologize right now because unfortunately, I just couldn't get the gym to come out looking exactly like how I wanted it to. I'm pretty amateur at 3D modeling, and because of that, a lot of these screenshots won't look particularly good. That being said, I think they illustrate what I want my gym to be like, so please don't judge these screenshots too harshly. Like I said before, the gym I would want to have is pretty much just an indoor water park. It's got everything from beach chairs to a hot tub and even indoor palm trees as well. The main component of my gym, however, would be the water playset in the middle. There's a bunch of slides off of it, but the main goal would be to make it to the very top to battle me. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any sort of puzzle or gimmick to really look or function well in this gym. I tried to add in some switches and ladders and stuff to make it more like a puzzle you had to do by traveling in the water slides, but in the end it just ended up looking like a giant mess. I removed all of the puzzle elements, so it's really just a straightforward climb to the top of the water park's tower. And that's pretty much my entire gym's design. If I was a gym leader, I'd just want a place where I could chill and relax while taking on challengers. Ideally, I'd want to be one of the early gym leaders opponents would face, so then I wouldn't feel too bad when I would constantly be beaten by challengers. Now, as for a Pokemon team that I would use, I would try to keep all of them to a theme. I know that technically water types is a theme, but I'd also want to try and have an all turtle team. Unfortunately, there's only two evolution lines of water type turtle Pokemon, which is the Squirtle line and the Tortuga line, so that kind of limits my options. Depending on if I was an early or a late gym leader, I would most likely use a combination of Blastoise, Wartortle, Tortuga, and Caracosta. If I was an early gym leader, I'd most likely end up using a tag team of Wartortle and Tortuga which would hopefully provide a decently hard challenge for some of the early trainers. 
I've got to put emphasis on that hopefully though, because in my mind, I see myself putting up a fight, but I could also see the beginning trainer stomping all over me too. Anyways, this is what I want to be if I was a gym leader, Hakame Senen who runs a water park. Believe it or not, I've actually heard stranger gym and gym leader ideas than this one before. And now I want to know what type of gym leader you guys out there would be. Would you be a ghost type gym leader that's converted their gym to function as a graveyard? Maybe a dark type gym leader that runs a casino? Feel free to share your gym leader and gym team ideas in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.